Hello, welcome all to the session Introduction to Orthographic Projections. I am Alex Chaco C, Assistant Professor in Mechanical Engineering Department, Vidya Academy of Science and Technology, Kerala. So today's topics for the discussions. First one is orthographic projections. Second one, reference and auxiliary planes. Three basic views in orthographic projection and systems of projections and how to draw the projections. What is orthographic projections? You can see that in the screen. It is a technical drawing in which different views of an object are projected on different reference planes observing perpendicular to respective reference plane. Different re reference planes are horizontal plane, vertical plane and the profile plane. And one more thing is the we have different views that are front view. The front view is projected on VP, top view projected on HP and side view projected on the profile plane. There are three important things to remember when we are considering the orthographic projections. The first one is planes, the second one is pattern of planes and pattern of views and the third one is method of drawing orthographic projections. The first one, planes. We have two principal planes, HP and VP, you can see that. And the auxiliary planes, they are auxiliary vertical plane. That vertical plane, auxiliary vertical plane is perpendicular to HP and inclined to VP. And auxiliary inclined plane, the second one, that is perpendicular to VP and inclined to HP. And here we have the profile plane where we are going to draw the side view. And the profile plane is perpendicular to both HP and VP. The second thing is pattern of planes and views. And this, is, this thing is in first angle method. I am... Uh, describing the first angle method. So here we have the VP, HP and the PP. Now you can see one XY. This XY line is the reference line for VP and HP and here we can see the arrow. This arrow direction, in the direction of the arrow an observer is watching an object in uh, the position. So uh, in this position or this line of view of the observer, we can only see what is in VP. For making clear what all the things in HP and PP, we have to rotate the HP downwards 90 degree and rotate PP 90 degrees to the rightward right direction. To see the things in PP and HP, in the plane which contains VP. Now we are rotating HP to the downward direction 90 degree and also the profile plane to right side direction 90 degree. So in this the observer can see VP and HP and rotating to the right side direction we can also see the uh, things in profile plane. So after that, we have we are getting this this view, VP, PP, and HP. In VP, we are getting the front view. In HP, we can see the top view, and in PP, we are getting the side view. And here, the XY line. Here, the XY line. Okay. So this is the actual pattern of planes and views in orthographic projections. Okay. The third thing, method of drawing orthographic projection. There are mainly using two methods or systems of drawing the orthographic projections and they are first angle projection and third angle projections. In India, we are following ISO standards and because of that, we are using the first angle projections method. In America and all, USA and all, uh, they are using third angle projection method. So, we are going into that. This is the uh, representation of, this is the representation of a frustum of a corn resting on HP. You can see the XY line 
the first term of a cone is resting on HP. That's why we are uh, drawing this front view on the x y line. Okay. So, the thing we have to uh, consider in this projection or in this method, first angle projection method, we are drawing the front view above the x y line and the top view below the x y line, below the x y line. x y line already mentioned, it is the reference plane. And in the third angle projection, we can see that top view is on the top of x y line and front view is on the bottom of the x y line. Okay. This is the major difference between uh, first angle projection and third angle projection. And now, we are thinking about the uh, two systems of projections and how it comes like this. Horizontal plane is used for first angle method. For the same, we are using ground. In first angle projection, we call HP and uh, for the uh, third angle projection, we are uh, saying it as ground. Okay. So, the first angle projection. So, the first angle projection. In first angle projection, we are placing the object in between the observer and the plane. You can see that the object is here and the observer is here. We are placing the object in the in between the observer and the plane. So, we are projecting the points or projecting the edges to the VP, to HP and to VP for getting the uh, front view, top view and side view. Now, we are going to see the third angle projection method. In this projection method, we are considering the planes as transparent and placing the object in between, uh, sorry, placing the uh, planes in between the observer and the object. We are placing the plane. We are considering the planes as transparent and placing the planes in between the observer and the object and producing or projecting the points to the uh, HP, VP and PP to get the front, top and uh, side view. Okay. So, uh, this is our session and I am concluding that by watching this session, you can uh, understand what is orthographic projections and you know what is the reference and auxiliary planes and uh, you know the three basic views in orthographic projection, the two systems, first angle and the third angle projections, that two methods and how to draw the projections. Thank you.